Red bean casserole is really easy to make and it's really filling. But don't feel like you need to use red beans and brown rice like we're using in this recipe. Try any other kind of bean, like black beans, navy beans, garbanzo beans, pintos, or even azuki beans. Those would be tasty. We know beans are a great source of protein and fiber, but did you also know they're a great source of iron too? Iron's important for a healthy body, but if we get too much iron, it can create free radicals in the body that can lead to cancer, heart disease, or even accelerate the aging process. Iron comes in two forms. Animal foods contain heme iron, where plant foods contain non-heme iron. Heme iron is like an uninvited guest at the party. When we eat it, our body can't get rid of the excess and hangs on to it. But when we eat the non-heme iron, the body takes what it needs and then easily expels any of the extra. Another great source of non-heme iron besides beans is leafy green vegetables. To make this version of red bean casserole, you'll need three cups of cooked red beans. If you're using cans, just be sure to drain and rinse them. One cup of onion that will dice half a teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of chopped parsley, half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of salt, a dash of Mexican seasoning, one cup of diced celery. The recipe calls for one clove of garlic, but we're gonna use three, just for fun. And finally, three cups of cooked brown rice. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Pause the video and do that right now. I'll wait. All you need to make this is a knife and cutting board to cut the vegetables, or I'll use a salad master machine. You also need a large spoon to stir it, and either a glass casserole dish that's 9 by 13, or an oven safe piece of cookware. Combine all the ingredients and mix well. As an option, lightly mist your casserole dish or pan with oil, and then add all of our mixed casserole to the pan. We're gonna bake this uncovered in the oven for about 20 minutes. It's always great to have extra beans and grains that are cooked on hand. You can make a big batch at once and then freeze any leftovers that you had. That way they're handy for whatever kind of recipe you wanna try. I'm a really big fan of one dish meals. When making a complete meal, I look for a green, a grain, and a bean. So we've got our red beans, that's our bean, and our grain would be the brown rice. And even though we have celery and onion, which are great vegetables, I would still probably add some small broccoli florets to serve as our green for this. That would be delicious. And maybe just add a little bit of vegetable broth for some moisture. Now you've got a complete and healthy meal.